Welcome back to ZM Jack. We got Gunslinger Hell on Earth Outpost. It's uh, I'm recording these later. So yeah, yesterday when I recorded, um, I was recording them really late, like an hour before the uh, the episode I was recording went live. An hour and a half, two hours, I don't remember. Like my memory's not that great. We've been over this. Um, today though, it's it's like barely three o'clock, and I'm uh, I'm recording the videos. I wanted to get them done sooner rather than later. Because I did uh, got my my routine kind of coming into come coming into to play soon, um, and right now I get up usually around 10 ish, which is is a good time to be waking up. I think I record the Amajack tries, upload it. Today was a little bit late. I I, I didn't get to recording it until like eleven thirty, um, which was kind of pushing it. Like it didn't even finish uploading until a minute before it was supposed to be live. So it was it was just in time um, but you know whatever so my, my routine is normally I wake up at uh, at about yeah 9 30 10 record the amateur tries uh, and then I'll go and make lunch because it'll usually be around 11 30 12 ish and uh, then I come back down and I play some games for a bit and uh, then I'd, uh, I'd record the kf2 videos usually around five o'clock six o'clock um, and that would be that would be my routine, which is uh, is a fine routine. But today I've changed it to uh, right after I came back from lunch. I just I recorded the KF2 videos right away, or I am recording them right away. It is it is currently happening. So uh, it's, it's going to be better, I think, because I'm not going to be interrupted later. Whereas uh, with the with the other one, I was I'd get interrupted because I come back, I play some games, do whatever I want. And then uh, I'd have to stop doing that, go record some KF2 videos, and then get back to doing whatever I was doing, which is is a mild interruption. So just recording them right after I get back from lunch is. Oops, I'm sorry. That that was an accident. Is a uh, working out better for me, I think. It is blazingly hot though. Like it is so hot. I'm I'm just drenched in sweat, but. I mean, I'm getting used to it at this point too. The, the whole like being super hot and uh, recording anyway. Like it's it's almost standard for me. So it's not even that bad. Um, which is is weird because I don't like the heat, and obviously it's not comfortable because I'm sweating, you know. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's like normal. I I'm not like bothered by it so much anymore. Whereas before I'd be super bothered by it because I didn't I didn't like the heat at all. And uh, I didn't want—I don't want any part of it. Um, but I don't—I don't mind it so much. It's—it's it's not my kind of jam. Like even the inside of my nostril is sweating. Like my nose is running. It's—it's—it's it's, it's that kind of—it's that kind of heat um, in my room right now. Which is largely because I have uh, no ventilation and then a gaming computer running. We're gonna get burned. And that's going to hurt a lot, because these guys do a lot of damage on Hell on Earth. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's hot. <laughs> but uh, I am getting recorded sooner, which is going to be nice. I won't get interrupted later. Because what I've been doing lately is, uh, is in RuneScape, I'm, uh, I'm, like, AFKing at the, uh, the Corrupted Scorpions, building up my Softening Slayer dungeon chest, because, uh, in that dungeon, all the mobs you kill, their loot gets picked up by the, the chest in there. It's not particularly great profit, and it's not particularly great experience, um, but it's one of the only places that has a chest like that, and it's the only place that has a chest like that uh, that you can properly, like, actually AFK. The other places are, like, boss fights and stuff. Um, okay, yeah. That's a stalker. I'm I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be mad about it, but like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blame that one on Hell Earth. I'm gonna blame that one on the Stalker. Uh, so it's it's the only place in uh, in Runescape that has the chest that auto loot stuff that you can AFK at it. So um, I've been I've been doing that. Even though it's not great money, uh, I'm able to build up that really big like chest loot, which is just very satisfying. Um, so that's what I've been doing, and it's very popular for some reason. It's not good money. I don't know why people do it without. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. But I mean, I'm doing it. But like, I'm a weirdo. So, um, 
Anyway, so I've, I've, uh, I'm building up that chest, and a lot of people do it, and uh, so it's really hard to find a world sometimes. So when I'm when I'm there, after after I eat lunch, and I go find a world, and then uh, I have to like stop, go record two episodes of KF2, and at that point it's usually like, you know, go record two episodes of KF2, go eat dinner, and uh, yeah, which is uh, which is a problem for me. Okay, this is this is this is this is me just failing a reload cancel like three times in a row. Again, not gonna blame that one on uh, Hell on Earth. Entirely my own fault for messing up a reload cancel three times in a row. Come on. Uh, so I, I I go eat dinner after recording the, the KF2 episodes and then. It's, uh, like I go back and the world's gone because somebody else has come and taken it. So I have to go and find another world and it's like a big interruption. Whereas, uh, if I, if I recorded the KF2 first, then I go find a world and I'm able to keep that world. Even if I eat dinner or whatever, like I can keep it going while I eat dinner because it, it's just, it's such low input to, to be able to stay there and do it. Um, that eat, like eating dinner isn't a big deal. Making dinner, it's not a big deal. I can... I can keep it going while I while I do that, but I can't do it while I'm doing this because even though it is low input, it's still like every five minutes at, at least I have to click once. Um, so like I can't do that while I'm doing KF2 like videos because I can't I can't possibly take my focus off of this for like 15 20 minutes, and uh, at that point it would already be gone. Let alone recording two of them and then uploading them, making all the stuff. Uh, it's just far, far too much um, investment to make it possible to uh, what should we call it? Do that while I'm doing KF2, which is fine. I don't mind because I like playing KF2 as well. But it's gonna be it's gonna be nice not having to get interrupted later. Be able to just keep it going. It's gonna be really nice. Just die, okay? Just die. Russia's apparently come up with, uh... Oh. Hello. Horde of husks. Russia's apparently come up with a cure for... Or not a cure. Um, we, already, we already can, like, cure COVID. Just keep the people from dying. And then uh, it goes away. Um, but uh, they've, they've apparently come up with a vaccination for it. And they say it's uh, it's totally good. Apparently, uh, Putin has used it on his uh, his family. Um, it has not been clinically tested and proven, so I don't I don't have high hopes for it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know I don't know where they're saying they got the the vaccine from because they, they they don't have any any like clinical testing done on it. I don't believe. At least they haven't done enough to uh, to prove that it's going to work on a on a global scale. So I don't, I don't have high hopes for it, but uh, if it's, I mean, if it's good, then it's good, right? Hopefully, hopefully they, uh, they get the testing done and then it's like, good, <laughs> right? Like hopefully, hopefully the testing is done and it's a, it's a working, functional, proper vaccine. Cause uh, that'd be like quite a, quite a nice thing to have. Of course. Uh, I don't know, like, there's, there's other things that come into to making a, a vaccine actually, like, save the world, too, because you have to get, uh, you have to get the clinical testing done, right, which is time-consuming, because you can't just, uh, I'm, I'm bad, you can't just release a vaccine without being 100% certain that it's actually a vaccine for the thing it's supposed to be vaccinating, right, like, you can't, you can't do that, um, so you got to get the, the the that stuff done. Make sure it's it's functional on a global scale for everybody, which is is very time consuming. So there's there's several months, right? And then uh, you got to actually like put together the the uh, the infrastructure necessary to produce it on a uh, on a global scale. Then you have to actually distribute it on a global scale, and there's there's obviously going to be people who are higher priority. Uh, people who are lower priority to get it, and uh, it's probably going to come down to who has more money <laughs> in, the, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, 
So there's there's even even if they have a, a functional vaccine and even if you know it, it's good, there's uh, there's still quite a bit of time before uh, COVID is you know kind of done and dusted. But I mean, it'd be great if they had it. But a lot of their you know it's it's kind of like um, a lot of those fake medicine things, you know, where. Uh, they're not allowed to say that it actually does a thing because it hasn't actually been tested to do that. They're just like, yeah, it cures cancer. It may not cure cancer. You know? Um, I should have got a Glock instead, but it's fine. Um, so I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's the first news I've heard of, uh, like, anything with that regard. So, I mean, that's kind of kind of cool, but... There's no clinical testing. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta do that before you tell people that you have a vaccine for it, right? That's kind of, kind of a necessary step. You're gonna get people's hopes up, and then uh, give them a vaccine, and then poison them to death or something. I swear, this is how the uh, the zombie apocalypse starts. You know, we have COVID, and somebody develops a, a vaccine for it, and. They don't actually make sure it's a proper vaccine. They distribute it around the world, and it actually, it's its not a vaccine at all. It's actually a zombie serum. And, uh, hello, zombie apocalypse. You thought, uh, you thought COVID was bad? Wait until you see Zovid. Look, the, bit, the bit's got some issues. But it's the bit's fault, not mine. I, I did come up with the bit, and I, I'm the one who said it. But, uh... I was under duress. I was being attacked by zombies. It's not a lie. I'm reading this uh, this light novel. It's uh, not a very good one, but it's Lazy Dungeon Master. Would I recommend you read it? No, not really. Why do I get all? I always get stuck on this stupid truck. Uh, but I've been reading it, and. Uh, I don't know. I just, I like mindless entertainment, even if it's not very good. Just because it's mindless and entertainment. I just, I enjoy it. Um, but one of the things that I've, uh, I've particularly liked in it is uh, the, um, the main character is like trying to lie about things, but can't actually lie because it's like a magical world and they can tell when you're lying. So a lot of the time, um, he'll like word things to make people think that he said one thing, but it's actually a different thing. He'll be like, they're like, uh, like somebody's asking him if he's, uh, if he's from Japan and he's like, oh, my parents are Japanese and I know some stuff about Japan. And he's like, I didn't say I wasn't Japanese. I'm like, well, I guess not. <laughs> he didn't lie. He just, he just made him think that, uh, he misled them. And I've, I've been enjoying that kind of stuff when it pops up. Most of it's pretty much just weird descriptions of him not being a lollicon and yet definitely, definitely being a lollicon. It's, uh, it's a light novel that uh, if it were a manga, I would, I would probably be very uncomfortable reading it. But uh, for some reason, the, uh, the descriptions of it in text just don't bother me as much. It's not like super, super bad stuff. But it's definitely uh, definitely unpleasant stuff, anyway. But uh, it's it's mostly just a, a dude being ridiculously overpowered and living in another world. And I'm like, that's that's exactly my kind of my kind of guilty pleasure. I'm not even that guilty about it. I don't feel I don't feel guilty about it. I don't really have guilty pleasures. There's uh, there's very little that I I, I uh, I'm not open about, you know. Like a lot of people. Uh, well, oftentimes people will tell me to tell, like, they'll, they'll ask what my dirtiest secret is, or what my, uh, what my secretest secret is, or whatever, right? I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't really have any secrets. Like, I mean, if you want to know something, just, just ask. You know, I'll pretty much answer anything. I mean, there's some things that, like, some people don't need to know, like, uh, you know, some some random I meet on the street doesn't really need to know my social insurance number. But that's not a secret, it's just 
like I, I don't know I'm not trying to like hide it from you I'm just like it would be stupid for you to for me to tell you that so like no but it's not like uh not, I'm not secretive about it I'm just you don't get to know that <laughs> you know I don't know it's uh and there's 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 some things like uh, I don't know some friends don't really get to know I don't know there isn't there isn't really much that uh, that we felt so I uh it's it's kind of a trait of, uh, of autism um, because we're we're pretty oh hello 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 um we're pretty honest we'll we'll answer things um so I'm like look. I'll answer, I'll answer like anything you ask of me. I'll, I'll answer any question. Just make sure you want to know the answer to, uh, to a question you ask because you will, you will get the answer. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to, you know? Because a lot of times people ask things and they're like, oh, well, I didn't really want to hear that. That's, that's too much information. Like, well, why'd you ask the question then, huh? Why, why'd you ask about it if you didn't want to know? You know, it happens. It happens like quite frequently, where where somebody will ask you a question about something, and then when you answer it, they're like, "Oh, that's a little bit. That's a little bit too much information." I'm like, "Well, don't don't ask, don't ask the question." Then, like uh, when I was uh, younger, I don't want to go that way. Uh, when I was younger, I had uh, yeah, you had crushes on people and whatnot, and uh, they'd ask you like, "Do you have a crush on me?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Cause like I don't I don't care. Um, and then you'd be like, oh, well now that's awkward. Like, why did you ask? Why why are you asking? If you're gonna be awkward about it, I don't uh, I don't get it. But uh, people people do it. They'll ask questions that they don't want to know the answer to. They'll they'll just and then they'll they'll blame it on you sometimes too when when you tell them what the answer is. They'd be like, why'd you tell me that? You asked. You wanted to know. I told you. So I, uh, I try to make... Wow. So Hell on Earth might be a little bit too tricky for me. I'm gonna... I can't really blame that one on Stalkers or just the boss being a little bit too hard for me. I think I just got overrun there. Uh, so we might go down to Suicidal, but... Anyway. So I always, uh, I always make sure that uh, people know. If you ask me a question, I will, I will tell you the answer, like almost every time, and it will be whatever the answer is. Like unless it's something like my sin number, or, well, sin, um, or like something that you just don't need to know, that you need to not know, rather. You know, I'll, I'll tell you if you want to know. Um, like people get upset about it. It's very bizarre. It's very bizarre. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.